time to the nearest minute. We are going to review how to tell time to the nearest minute. The small hand or the short hand tells us the hour. If you look at this clock, the short hand or the hour hand is in between the one and the two. So to get the hour, we have to go back to the one. So this clock is showing us that it's at the hour one. The big hand tells us the minute. On this clock, the minute hand is on the 12. We wouldn't say one twelve. We have to count the big numbers by fives to find the minute. So this clock would be on the 60 or the zero, so this clock says one o'clock. Let's practice when the minute hand is to the nearest minute. There are five minutes in between each big number. For this clock, the minute hand is in between the seven and the eight. So we're gonna have to count by fives until we reach the seven. Then when we reach the seven, we'll count by ones till we get to the minute hand. All right, let's try it. So we have the minute hand is in between the seven and the eight with five minutes in between each number. So let's count. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. This clock shows 138. All right, let's practice another one. This clock has an hour hand in between the 10 and 11, so we go back to the 10. The minute hand is in between the five and the six. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. This clock shows 10, 26. Let's try another one. On this clock, the hour hand is in between the six and the seven, so we'll go back to the six. The minute hand is in between the nine and the 10, so we're gonna count by fives and then ones until we can reach where that minute hand is. All right, let's count by fives until we get there. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. This clock shows 649. Remember, don't forget the small hand is the hour hand, and don't forget the big hand is the minute hand. Created using Powtoon.